Can fish get seasick? The answer might surprise you. Yes, they absolutely can. But first, let's clarify what seasickness actually is. It's just one type of motion sickness, that queasy, disorienting feeling you get when your senses send conflicting messages to your brain. Here's what happens. Your inner ear detects movement, but your eyes don't see any motion relative to your surroundings. Your brain interprets this confusion as poisoning, triggering nausea and headaches. Now fish have a similar balance system, organs on both sides of their heads that detect movement and orientation using gravity. When a fish gets caught in strong currents or turbulence, these organs send mixed signals, just like ours do on a boat. Scientists have actually tested this. They took small fish on parabolic flights, those zero-gravity training flights. During these flights, when gravity briefly disappears, the fish lost all orientation. They began tumbling and spinning uncontrollably, completely disoriented. Fish have an additional challenge we don't face, their lateral line system. This organ runs along their sides and detects every water movement and pressure wave. In a sloshing transport container, these constant pressure changes overwhelm their nervous system, causing severe stress. Aquariums and marine museums know this well. Many fish have suffered serious harm during transport simply from motion sickness. So yes, seasickness exists both above and below water. Even creatures perfectly adapted to aquatic life can get overwhelmed when their world won't stop moving. So if you're feeling queasy on a boat, just remember, somewhere below you, there might be a fish feeling exactly like you.